of Jesus. More of you. More of you, Jesus. I love you, Father. I love you, Holy Spirit. More of you, Jesus.
Lord bless my wife. Lord. Matter of fact, matter of fact, baby, why ain't you playing? Okay, like I was saying, for those who had good memories. Now, and you saved now, you sanctified, you feel, and if you're not saved, the altar's welcome for you. I'm gonna get you re-saved. But, uh, look, turn it down a bit. I asked the question, now, I ain't gonna sit around here and waste. No, it's never a waste of time, but. <laughs> I know that this before I bring it out. <laughs> Glory water. That's not, what's that? 
they was they that's not how's that word go? Decent and in order. That's not decent and in order. And you'd be like, by whose standard? Is it by man's standard? Or God's standard? Because last time I checked, Father God, he parted a whole sea with the breath of his nostrils. Blowing it as it He came down in the Mountain shook. Nations know about it. He operated through one man to get it done. Took a took a took a rod and hit a rock in a desert, and and water just. And then he said, Moses, speak to the rock the next time. You know Moses, he got into the familiarity realm. You know, we can't criticize because some of us do the same thing. We could have that familiarity realm. And do the same thing. What if, go talk to the rock. Oh, I know how this done, Lord. I'm going to hit it. Bam. And hit the rock. And God in his mercy still dealt with it, but he took Moses behind the scenes and said, look, I told you to speak to it. And they had to do what he had to do. See, a lot of times we wonder why things don't go our way because we get into this familiarity zone. If we ain't getting the report on today's paper because we're too busy looking at yesterday's paper and putting yesterday's news on today's paper. Check your source. Check your source. So I'm like, Lord, why is it that they mistaken you for a wine bibber? Now, <coughs> this is what I got. He said, Juan, you minister to people, right? I said, yeah. You stand before people, right? I said, yeah. You take on some of their issues and their problems. You hear about it. Said, yeah. He said, he said, you fight in the spirit realm, right? I said, yeah. You do deliverance on people. I said, yeah. <laughs> he said, now, for a normal-minded man, that stuff that you do, wouldn't that not drive you crazy? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> and so he's like, well, what makes you think if I was tempted by every temptation that you tempted with, that that stuff would not drive me a little crazy? They spoke bad about me, did they not? I said, yeah. They want to throw me off a cliff, did they not? Yeah. Did I still have to operate in love towards them? I, he said, <laughs> I said, yeah. He said, I needed a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Because when you take a drink, it does what to you? It makes you bold. It makes no, 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 no. I'm not saying you gotta go out to no dang on spirit store. <laughs> it starts with an L. Nah, I'm saying the new wine. Yes. yes. In the Book of Acts, the new wine. He said he would take his finger, take that water, and turn it into new wine. Someone give me Luke 5 38. Please. He said he would take his finger and put it. And in this song, he said just speak. He would just speak to it, the water and say, let it be new wine. Because he knew the circumstances that for which he had to face. See, y'all think more people crazy. No, I'm saying, keep up with what I'm saying. Listen to me. He knew the people he had to deal with. He knew the critics that 
shall be facing him. He, he knew the opposition that was coming his way. He even knew the betrayal of his own blood family. These are my mothers, my brothers, and my sisters, those who do the will of my father. When he's calling him out from among them. And they, the crowd that was before him when he spoke those words was doing nothing but sitting there and listening to him. He knew not only this generation, not only the generation that passed us, and not only the generations behind us all the way to his generation, but he knew even the ones before us at an extended point of time ahead of us until he shuts those clouds and come through the whole, come down on the hearts and all that good juicy jazz. But, yeah, but he knew everything that you would deal with because he saw it even before he went to the cross. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Someone telling you your destiny before it happened? Someone telling you your death, your burial, your resurrection? Not only you're doing it not for self, but for your children? Oh, we're not just strangers here. You are birth beings. Birth beings. Birth from Father God. So Father God, Holy Spirit, and the Word, who will go and bring my children back for me? Who will go and get my children prepared for me? Who will go and be one with my children to represent me? And the Word said, I will do it. read your Bible. The word said, I will do it. I am the one slain before the foundations of the world began. I am the lamb who suffered and endured. I'll do it. The same Jesus who took upon himself the cross, the pain, by his stripes we are healed, were healed, so that means your sickness, any type of sickness, any type of disease, any type of trials, he took that upon him. Jesus. Shh. Oh, Jesus. It's all about my Lord Jesus. Luke 5, 38. Who has it? Someone has it? Someone read it, please. But new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot maintain on old wine. Or old wine skin. He's fresh and new every moment. Every moment. Now, if you ever battled against fear, if you ever had to deal with fear, and Pastor Teko said fear will hold you back. Circumstances will hurt you back. Fear will hold you back. The stronghold of fear, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind.
And the joy of the Lord is strength. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come against all spiritual opposition in the airways to be trampled on and destroyed right now. And I release your children unto you, Father, to have the ears to hear and the heart to receive. If you learn to laugh at your enemies, you will achieve breakthroughs you never even began to imagine. If you ask him for new wine, that will bring you strength. You won't have to deal with fear. You won't have to deal with opposition that comes your way. You won't be concerned with your co-worker critics. You won't be concerned with those who claim to be the enemy of your soul. You will laugh at them. Father God looks upon his enemies and he laughs. Because he knows he has the victory. And one of his deepest desires is for his children to know they have the victory. Second Timothy six. Yeah, let somebody read it, please. Therefore, I 
remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. Who glory? Yes. Who glory? See, you. Is that a fallen world out there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you. Uh, you're not a part of the world, right? No. You call out of the world, right? Yeah. In the world, but not of the world. The world looks at you for directions. Judgment starts in the house of the Lord first. So, all decisions that goes on out there is a result of what's going on in here. Not here, here, but here with you. Because Father God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit reside where? Amen. Amen. Okay, I'm going to go over here because I know I got some voices talking over here. I, ain't, I don't know about that side. Oh, plus the anointing is stronger over here. I ain't trying to put them body bag down over there, but I, I'm sorry. But let me ask that question again. Father God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit resides in me. Okay, so if that is the case, and judgment starts in the house of the Lord first. Where does that judgment start for every situation that goes on concerning you? But not only you, but those that's around you. Who said that? Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. In you. In you too. That's how it goes. <laughs> but like, what? You mean I have that much authority? I have that much power? I have that much control? Take the shackles off your mind. Yeah, you do. I know that's right. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you think. You are a power packed individual. Filled with power from a bone high. God given destiny. Created for greatness, abundance, and assurance of prosperity. You are blood bought for a purpose. The divine for pure destination. Overcoming the grave and the cross, yes. and not only that, the fiery pits of hell, and not only that, the lake of fire. You passed the test because you said, Jesus, yes. come into my heart. Yes. Yes. Not realizing when you said that, you were fulfilling his very prayer. Yeah. One with me. Judgment starts in the house of the Lord first. Because you make the decisions on what goes on out there. Wow. You make the decisions on what goes on in here. Right. While well, I was back there getting lifted and tore up, <laughs> drunk in the spirit, my body was getting cold. Now, my stomach was on fire, but my body was getting cold. Oh, come on now. Y'all looking at me like, what's going on? I'm going to tell you something like this. When you did a five-day water fast, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you know. It takes a little time for the flesh to line up in its proper place. Water on me. So, I said, Lord. I said, Lord, I'm cold. This flesh and this your flesh to heat up. So I said, flesh, heat up. <laughs> and I stopped being cold. Right. And I'm like, there's a principle in that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We run around here touching folks. Jesus name hallelujah come out in Jesus name then we get in the house oh. Oh. better speak over yourself you want changes in your life you want changes in your life you need to speak over yourself prophesy over yourself no, 
don't want a still job. No. <laughs> According to that book, yes. the apostle, prophet, preacher, teacher, evangelist are to prepare the people to do the work of the what? Ministry. The what? The gospel. Are you not a minister? Is your body concerned to be a ministry? Yes. Minister to yourself. Yes. <laughs> okay. That being the case, if you got anything going on with you that you need something to break through and all this type of juicy jazz, good stuff, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's cool. One could put a thousand flight, two could put ten thousand flight. You get a few people to join in. Those who ain't gonna gossip about you when they leave with you, but uh, those that you can take to heart. Do the ones you associate with. And, and, and if you know someone who, if you can recognize something that someone has, and, and not judge that person, but recognize the anointing on that person, and, and that person has that type of anointing, you can get a breakthrough off of it. Okay, I'll put it just like this. I'm going to break this down for you. If you see something in me, you don't have to like me. Seriously, you don't have to like me if you see a gifting in me that you know is going to bless you. Amen. You don't have to like me. I can come, you can come, and then I can say, be blessed or whatever. You can pull that, you can pull that gift out and have it come upon you. Get your breakthrough, but and then you can walk away and you got what you got, right? Yeah. Okay, check this out. What happens if you lose it? If you say out of your mouth, I don't even like him. Oh, that's when it returns back. Woo. Long as you don't confess it out of your mouth, then you're okay. If you can walk away and say, God bless them, you're okay. You ain't got to like the person. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> but the point is like this this is the point edification exhortation and comfort builds your character sometimes you place in a position with people that you don't get along with not because You are being conformed to the image of thy dear son, Jesus. Jesus had to deal with the same type of individuals. Ooh, Jesus. And then turn around and still bless those individuals. And when you say, come into my heart, that means you are a representative of Jesus. He will place you amongst people whom you won't even get along with because not only to build your character up personally, but also, also, so the father can look down upon you and say, yeah, that's my girl. That's my girl. He can look down upon his son and say, yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. Because you endure trials. You endure tribulations. You endure shame. You endure persecution. And you still gave glory to the Father. Yeah. You're powerful. You're so powerful. You just got to recognize it. You have to recognize it. I can recognize it all day long. That's why I mess with some of y'all. I know. I mess with my wife. I love my wife. Amen. No. <laughs> yeah, I got to stay constantly tipsy with her. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Lord Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Rachel, stay in the spirit now. <laughs> Rachel stays in the spirit. Yeah. She gotta keep me keep me lined up. Yeah, so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get another drink? Hallelujah. Upon that note, um, I'm about to close. And um <laughs> like one of the first things I said before I came out here is didn't y'all already get ministered to? You had a testimony, you had a confirmation on teaching about your funds and finances, yeah. Yeah, you had testimonies about healings, miracle signs and wonders and all that good jazz. So you know, only thing I had to do was just drink up with the Lord and just enjoy myself. <laughs> Regardless. I, I, see, I don't think about people too much. I mean I love y'all, God bless y'all and all that jazz, but I'm always for my father. I know that. Y'all gotta learn that shoot. People yeah. All right, all right. Woo! Wow! <laughs> okay <laughs> you ain't gotta believe this you ain't gotta receive this but that's not over there i want you to just lift up your hands and say that uh, hold on let me let me explain it first because i know some people they, they don't you know okay I'm, I'm right here and i see this huge angel with this like big old canister and he's ready to just go like this and, and I was like, what is he doing? Because he's ready to pour a new wine upon y'all over there. He, he's ready to pour that new wine upon y'all over there. So if I say, just lift up your hands and receive, you can receive. Or you can just, huh? 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 <laughs> 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 Woo, joy. Jesus. Joy. Joy the Lord is strength. And I saw, and, and yeah, a lot of y'all need some strength. <laughs> okay. What can get you bold as a lion? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Nothing but the drink from Jesus. <laughs> bold as a lion. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Now, uh, okay, since, since this says, okay, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Now he brought in his crew. Okay. Hallelujah. So, okay. So. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Cuss. <laughs> <laughs> But you don't realize. Yeah. Have any of y'all ever wondered why babies be laughing? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna tell y'all something. This, this is a hidden secret that 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 needs to be revealed. Yeah. Angels will come in and tickle tickle babies. They come in and tickle babies. They come in and tickle babies. And y'all thinking Google Gaga? Cause all y'all hear is Google Gaga. But what y'all don't know is. When, you, when, the, when the angels come in and tickle the babies, they start laughing. You know what they're doing? They're speaking in a laughter tongue, proclaiming their destiny. Uh, Woo! Jesus! Uh, Woo! Joy! Ah, glory. Okay, okay. 
So, who taught you how to laugh? God, the Lord. Oh, yeah. So, I got to do that. Okay, no, 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 Laughter is great medicine. Yes. They outlive a whole lot of people. Yes. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> it's because laughter is good medicine. Yes. Right. Laughter is a gift from God. Yes. It's like tongues. Yes. No one is tapped into it. Yes. Jesus. You ever heard him say you get this bill? I thought he didn't, you know, get bill. And, and you know, you know, it's a bill that's really P H A T bill. And then you, and then you hear the still small voice say, "Just laugh at it." <laughs> okay, I don't know if it get paid like that, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Just laugh at it. <laughs> you know, because see, you, you gotta understand something. The joy of the Lord is strength. Laughter is good medicine, but it it, it it comes against nervous issue problems. Yeah. It, it fights against fibromyalgia. It, it fights against cancer. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes. Depression. Yeah. It fights against depression. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There was a man who 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 said who they, he was diagnosed diagnosed with cancer. So the Lord told him to go home and put on the three Stooges. Yeah! And he laughed about a little bit watching the three stooges. Kept looking at it, laughing, 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 laughing. Just, just constantly watching the three stooges. Okay. Get this. When he went back for his checkup, the cancer was gone. Yeah. See, this is why I get in my prayer time. I be like, Lord, just Man. give me a drink. Yes. Because, because you know, it's like, why did Jesus... God was considered a wine bitter because he knew a secret that we we just threw out the door. Label it bad. Yeah. Now, okay, now the fleshly world system it is bad. Don't yeah. don't get it twisted. I gotta make that clear because some people are, like, you know, that, that prophet passed wine sitting there talking about, y'all need to go get a drink. <laughs> nah, I ain't talking about no worldly drink. I'm talking about spiritual drink. Yeah. Spiritual stuff is for the spiritual mature. And you might be the opportunity of the hand. So. <laughs> yeah, they're ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy Spirit, bless me to be more sensitive to you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> You said by and all religious spirits. Okay, <laughs> man, all, I just got to agree with that. All religious spirits be bound up and dis destroyed. <laughs> right now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. <laughs> okay. All you have to do, <laughs> all you have to do. It just, just, just lift up your hands. Now this gonna sound crazy for some of y'all. I'm serious. Lift up your hands and open your mouth, cause the Bible says he, they, they feel it. <laughs> and, and, and there they go. They pouring, they pouring in. They, they, there they go. I mean, they pouring in. They, they pouring in. So are you just, are you thinking I receive? I receive. And just let them, just let them feel you. Give, give you that for which you desire. Yo, that new wine. There it is. That new wine. Y'all gonna get bold as lines, I'm telling you. Ain't nobody gonna be able to tell y'all nothing. Y'all gotta receive it. You, you gotta receive it. You can't, can't look at your neighbor now. You gotta look, look up to heaven because the angels are pouring it on you. If they open your mouth and take a drink, drink it like it. Drink it. You gotta drink it. You gotta drink it. Dang it. I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> Let 
that you won't have pain the way it, it, your pain's leaving. Mm. Yeah. You're going to start noticing changes in your personal life. Yeah. You're going to start noticing different ways people look at you, talk to you. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Mm. See, see, the more you drink, the, the more it goes down, more anointing comes in with it. And, and the anointing is to destroy the yokes. Yes, Lord. So it, it destroys it destroys yeah. it destroys it destroys your bondage you <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh oh for some of you oh, oh, I, I don't know if I want to say that no. say it say it <laughs> but those who carry their feelings on their shoulders <laughs> say you need an extra overdose <laughs> Bless your brothers and sisters. Don't worry about what they said. <laughs> Don't even think about oh, it. Lord. Eat your drink, y'all. <laughs> Jesus! Jesus. Get, your, get your drink! <laughs> Woo. Childlike spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now if, if, if nothing happens to you, don't get upset. Yeah. Don't don't get upset because I'm, I'm gonna give you a little advice because I know I know I know you don't want to step out your comfort zone. Yeah. But I'm gonna give you a bit of advice. When, when you get home and and you in your prayer closet, if you got a prayer closet or just your private room. Faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. It's a, it's a written word, but I'm, I'm going to give you the spoken word. The spoken word is this. Ask him to give you his new wine. Yes, Lord. Ask, <laughs> ask him. Because I know some of you, 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 you just, 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 just got to have child like faith. And some of you just a little too grown. You got it going on so you don't, you don't want to embarrass yourself. But the Bible clearly states you must come to him as a child. And, and, and when, you, when, you, when you tell your kids stuff, don't they just believe it? I ain't saying, I ain't saying this in a way of saying except anything stupid. I'm saying this in a way of saying, okay, it's written in the word. And this new wine is there for you. It's to help you overcome circumstances that will try to come at you. Not only that, some people, some people still have what I call memory elapses, where where a certain memory come up and and they ah oh, nah I can't I can't nah I can't. it was all good but nah 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 let that go let that go. Take a drink and let it go. Cause, cause if you take a drink from the Father, you ain't thinking about that no more. It's gone. See, I remember I was saying that I had the vision where and people was going back fishing back their problems. They was he and it's still forgetfulness. 
it was tossed in, then yeah. they come down and try to fish it back and fish it back and fish it back. How can you fish anything back if you tipsy or getting there drunk with the Lord? It's gone. You ain't thinking about fishing nothing back. Old relationship, you ain't thinking about fishing back. How your sister treated you the other day, you ain't thinking about fishing back. That person that was on your mind that you feel as though you should have gave a piece in your mind, knowing you need all the mind that you can have, you ain't thinking about fishing that back. That coworker who who said something bad about you, but you gotta remind yourself, I'm in the new man. The old man has died. Uh huh. You, you killed the old man. You ain't trying to kill nobody. So uh, you <laughs> you ain't trying to fish that back. See, see, I know, I know for sure. You you, you hear stuff constantly, and, and, and sometimes, oh Jesus. Like, 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 you hear a good story and you get a little jealous and you be like, well, Lord, how, how come that can't happen to me? But you ain't gonna say because you, you, I do it for you. You, you, you ain't gonna say I do it for you. you. You get a little jealous about it because you be like, Lord, I've been, I've been tired and I've been busting my rear end here and there and, and I, I, I ain't got that. You know? But the thing about it is, it's like you gotta realize, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be in God's will. In order for you to be in God's will, it means you got to spend time with God and you got to know what His will is for your life. Hmm. And, and sometimes if you're too busy focusing on chasing somebody else's dream, He can't establish the dream He has for you. Because you're chasing this man's dream. You're chasing that woman's dream. You're trying to chase that character over there. You're trying to chase that character over here. You're trying to chase that character down there. When He knows, He want to tell you, son, daughter, you're not a robot. You created in my image. Seek me out for everything. Jesus. And sometimes, sometimes you just need to sit. Be still and know that he's God. And then you be like, Lord, I got, I got, I got this build up here. I got this build up there. I got this. And he says, just take a drink. Take a drink. Because all those cares will just wash away. Because you be too busy gazing at him. <laughs> if you have a hard time doing that, just read the book of Revelation. Until he comes in and show you other things. But you, you gaze at his beauty. You gaze at the train. You start, and the more you gaze at him, then, then you start seeing the cherubim and the, the other, other angels that surround him. Then you start seeing a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> And then when you keep doing it over and over again, you start hearing what you see. Oh glory. And then and then and when you get so far gone into it, he starts taking you different places. Because you're seated in Christ in heavenly places. Not a heavenly place. Places. So he starts taking you different places. And, and it's at those moments you be thinking, I'm just tripping, dipping, totally just flipping. But the thing about it is, he's he's trying to tell you something. It's not just you. It's your spirit that's traveling. It's your spirit that's one with him. Even the kingdom of God is within you. Not to be expected just to come bust up into a cloud door in your room and all the juice. Now that can't happen. But I'm just saying, he has to store up your inner man first so your outer man can catch up. Ooh, Jesus, that's a revelation. Okay, so your inner man, when it gets so in tune with the Lord, then your outer man catches up, and then you start having those trips. So he starts you off infant style. Because for some, he knows you've been so contaminated with, with man's doctrine, doctrines of man and doctrines of demons, and doctrines with theology, psychology, and illuminology, and all this other theology, theologies. You know, like the fair, the, the his eyes, the his eyes, the Emirates, the his eyes, and all the giants. Okay, yeah, I said the giants. Okay, but anyway, see, see, giants when you start defense. But see, the thing about it is, he has to start with you in a small place, oh, man. just like a little baby. He, he starts with you, and then he builds you up because you trust in him. And then you start hearing him. He says, "Why do you trust me? Do you trust me?" But see, because he knows, he knows you love him. Okay, he knows a lot of you do. But see, but see, he knows you love him. You're like, Lord, I love you. And then you hear that, well, do what I told you to do. Because that verse that says, if you love me, you would do what I told you to do. That's right, that's right. Lord, what do you want me to do? I want you to go out there and be a clown. I want you to go out there and be you. I want you to go out there and represent. 
I want you to go out there and present. I want you to go out there and be faithful. I want you to go out there and let the world know, look, I serve an awesome, yes. loving yes. God yes. who's above and beyond your wildest imaginations. Yes. So far above, he says, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts and my ways are higher than your ways. Hmm. And every time I hear Jesus say, why walk with me? And I know a lot of you, he will tell you that, walk with me. Because he want to tell you something, he want to show you things. He's like, walk with me. He want to spend quality time with you. Walk with me. Yes, Lord. You want your healing? Walk with him. You want to see breakthrough? Walk with him. You want financial financial security and all that juicy, that good, great stuff? Walk with him. You want witty ideas and inventions? Walk with him. You want your own business? Walk with him. You want your you want your children to come to the full knowledge of who he is? Walk with him. Oh! Sure! That one. Yes. That one. The way is dear upon your hearts because you try. The way is dear upon your hearts because you recognize this God. And you want that for your children. He says, I am faithful to the just. I will not abandon your children. He says, you stay faithful, I will protect your children. He says, if you stay faithful, when you can't speak to your children, he says, I will send people to talk to your children. Yeah. Mm. He says, you stay faithful, you stay prayerful, you stay that intercessor he calls you to be for your child. He says, I will make breakthrough ways for them that it would astound you. Yeah. True, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. He says, even for those spouses, those rebel ones with rebel hearts, they ain't trying to hear none of that. He says, you stay faithful. You stay drunk in the spirit. You focus on him and he will touch them. He said, for some, just, just keep your mouth off of me. He ain't saying to say that in a bad way, but you know, sometimes you do. Keep, keep your mouth off of them. I mean, speaking bad about them. See, see them the way he sees them. And it's not even all that. He says he's willing to be up, above, up, beyond doing those things for you. He says, according to his word, he says, according to his word, is it not written? I already know the needs of your heart. Are you not? Are you a sparrow? Oh, there it is. The verse came back to you now, huh? Yeah. He says, no, I ain't call you a sparrow. You weigh much more than a sparrow. Sparrow. <laughs> he said, no, that plan ain't for you. That ain't your plan. That's that person's plan. You got to sit in his presence and get your plan. Yes. That's what you got to do. And, and he's well, he's well, us job by the dog to make kind of He's more well and able when you sit in his presence to get his plan for you. He will send the right people in your life to help establish it without them betraying you. Woo! Jesus. Thank you, God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Is he, is he prophesying? Oh, uh, y'all. Uh, y'all. Thank you, Lord. Oh, uh, y'all. Okay. Every, unless you have something else for your children, Father. <sighs> Thank you. This, this, I, I, I really don't want to ask that question because I already know everything. Come on now. Does anyone have any aches or pains? Got one. Anybody else aches, aches or pains? Hallelujah. Amen. I want to be biblical on this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
Because the Bible clearly states if you have pain, let the elders of the church come pray for that person. Right. And that person yeah. shall get healed. Right. Does it not say that? Yeah, say that. Did you write it? No. Was it there before you? Yes. So apparently it must mean it must work. Yeah, before my mama and my mama's mama. And your mama's mama. Mama. It was there. <laughs> okay. So, for those who <coughs> had aches and pains that the elders of the church come anoint them people with oil. Amen. Oh, I got any elders in the house to come anoint the people with oil? Well, do we have any? Do we? Do we? Now, I ain't talking about your age. Come on now. Oh. Thank you, Teco. <laughs> Lord. Bless my brother with a double portion of your anointing for everything he's going through and facing, Father. This mighty man of God, give him the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to bless the children that you place yes. before him, Father. Let him hold counsel in his businesses where they can come and bring their Bible and do private study. Mm. Let all his shops of business be a Christian-based shops. Whoa, Jesus. Mm. Whoa, we Jesus. Increase the anointing, mm. the favor, the favor upon his life let it increase and multiply so much so that it will affect everyone who comes into his presence yes. oh Jesus matter of fact Lord just just oh, give him an overflowing gifting of that a mantle of that thank you Lord a mantle that, that will bring provision for those who have the ear to hear what this mighty man of God is saying to the church. Jesus. Oh. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I know we had, um, one over there. Right there. Right back there. You really fucking right? Yeah, I feel really right here. My mother right here. I'm going to go to the real place. Do you know you can go to the real place? Yes, Gina, you, you ready. You've been anointing the plan to pray. Don. So if you heard a voice, like, ah, oh, I wonder what Pastor Dan thinks about this message. Uh, Pastor Dan approves this message. Shut up! Shut up! So the Lord's using Pastor Juan, Prophet Juan, in a different way today. Because the Lord can use anybody in any way he wants to. So if you, didn't, if you don't know it, the main principality in, uh, in independent Missouri is a religious spirit. Shut up to them! Yes. The Lord's going after that today. I'm not talking about not going after religious people. I'm talking about going after a religious spirit. Yes. A critical spirit, religious spirit. Yes. Because that has to come down for the Lord to do what he wants to do in this city. You have a, you have a whole... For those of us that are Maybe a little, a little older. It didn't work for me, but it may have worked for you know people a little bit older or whatever. You know, mom and dad said, "Better follow Jesus, or you're going to go to hell." And it worked. And so you follow Jesus, okay? And that, that's a, that's great. It's a good reason. But I'm just telling you, there's a a, a generation now that that message won't work. <laughs> that message won't work. I seen two kids here today. Two kids here today, and they were like, 
you know, during the praying and worship and all that. Because I'm not talking bad about the kids. I'm just saying it was kids. But, but they just, you know, they, they was like, uh, I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. <laughs> Okay, how many know the devil would love to take those kids to hell on I'm bored? Yes. I ain't bored. And Pastor Juan ain't bored. And we can teach them kids to drink of the Holy Spirit, they won't be bored either. <laughs> 